Okay, continuing. So we had just adjusted the image adjustments, the direct adjustments for the beak. So now it's time to start erasing out its edges. And I can do it on the eye blending in, and I'm doing this at a lower opacity. I might even go to like 20% because this is pretty fine work. And it will just give you this subtle variation, right? from one color into the next. So if I want that kind of scaly look from the reptile to blend into the beak, I can keep those partitions and those shadows from the scales. And the most you would ever want to zoom in is, is 200%, which is what I'm zoomed in now. Because anything more than that, you're just not seeing anything that's going to matter to your print. It's too highly detailed. But here, I want to bring a little bit of that color into these scales and transition it. The tablet really helps because it's pressure sensitive for size, right? And then I was debating whether I wanted that kind of nostril structure or not. And I, I think it's distracting, so I'm going to just blend that out. And let a lot of the lighting of the beak kind of take over. So the more overlap you have, the more options you have in getting them to all connect. All right, now just the edge here. And we'll learn how to make shadows later. Right now we're just using what's already in the reference with direct adjustments. All right, then what about blending the top of this chameleon's head? So let's blend those edges down. Let that fur come through. So this is now blending fur into scales. I just want to be pretty controlled about it. Understand what you're doing and what layer you're doing it to. You can see it blends the colors and the lighting all at once. And especially if a lot of the reference is soft focus, like it is for the chameleon's eye, that means I got to blend a lot of that away. So it's all pretty clean. But I can do it at these soft, low opacities, so at least the color notes kind of continue. And if there are areas I need to fill in later, I'll show you how to do that. All right, so far so good. Now, what's underneath the beak? It is this portion. And I'm going to go to Image Adjustments, Levels, and I'm going to push it lighter or darker. I think I want to go a little bit darker, like so. And then Color Balance. And I might push the color balance a little bit towards the blue and the cyan, so it blends a little bit better with this kind of gray wattle. Can deaden the reds a little. Yeah, that's going to help. I don't want to take all the warmth out. OK, 
Okay, then I can start blending that edge in. So how do I start organic blending? With a 100% soft edged eraser. And I obliterate that hard edge. Like so. And I can go layer to layer and clean it up. And I'm not too worried about the outside edges yet, but I'll get there. Let me pause, Danny, so I can get to you. All right, by doing direct adjustments, I've helped this fur to look a little bit more natural with the lighting of the bottom there, though I'm going to add shadows later. And I can still soften and transition some of these edges as they all layer up on top of each other. But I'm not going to worry about these outside edges quite yet. Bless you. All right, so the last one is this back part of the head, these ears. And I think I want to leave those pretty, pretty bright. So now I've got a head that's been adjusted, right? Pretty big difference from when we opened to how we've been able to blend it. So now I'm going to save my work. Even though we haven't cleaned up all the outside edges, that's not as important as all these internal ones first. And then I can close the head and open the body. Now the body has its own challenges, right? Especially around the feet. So I'm going to go to the top layer first and combine these two layers so that these legs really work. Now, because I internally composited this leg, it's already going to match pretty well. So I'm going to use that 100% soft edged eraser, get rid of the hard edge from the internal compositing. And let its feathers blend in with the feathers underneath. All of that's good. That makes sense. Okay, now I can merge the two together. So I do that by selecting both of these layers and just going layer merge layers, just so I can do direct adjustments on this whole bottom part all at once. Then I go to image adjustments and we start with levels. And I'm going to make this either brighter or darker using the midtone slider. And I thought I wanted to go brighter, but you know what? I think because it's underneath the animal, I think I want to go darker, especially for those feet. Just a little bit. Now I go to image adjustments, color balance. And we learn through repetition. Same old thing. Because I have white feathers, this is, some, bless you, something called white balance. And remember, I have masks and hand sanitizer, too. And if you guys are not feeling well, remember, all of this is put online so you can keep up with the course outline if you're not able to come to class so that you can recover quickly. All right, so now I've adjusted the color balance. That makes a big difference with the levels. Now I'm going to use hue saturation and just see if moving the spectrum a little bit helps because I want it to be able to blend with those feathers above. And you'll see that my spectrum changing doesn't really change the white feathers much at all because I've balanced that to be a pretty clear white, which means it's white and gray, but it does change the legs a lot. So I just find the right color for the legs. Then do I want it more saturated or less saturated? Maybe just a tiny bit more saturated for those legs. And now I'm ready to start blending it. So 
100% opacity, 0% hardness on my eraser. Get rid of that hard edge. Obliterate it. Make sure there's no trace of it. No trace whatsoever. But once I start transitioning, I need this structure of the legs. So I can kind of find the feathers I want at 100% opacity. But now I'm going to go down to lower opacities once the hard edge is gone. And I'm going to start blending the two together. Just like if I were blending a cloudy sky into a night sky. But this time it's feathers of very different lengths into each other. And what you hope is that the lighting and the texture all kind of flows through. Just by having that overlap. All right, I think that works pretty well. So that's that part of the body. Now I've got these chicken wings. They're sitting on top. So I have this little internally composited part. I'm going to go to 100% opacity. I'm going to take out that hard edge. And then blend with a lower opacity. These elements together. You can always do Command-Z if you go too far or get out ahead of your overlap. And I'm going to just quickly on this tip go to my levels adjustments and I'm going to limit the highlights a little bit with this slider so it looks in shadow a little bit more. Okay, then I'm going to go to the one behind it and I'm going to change its color balance to have a little bit more of that yellow in the midtones. And now I can merge the two together. So now, how do I get these to fit with this wing? Well, I'm going to do full adjustments to them. Levels. Do I want them to be brighter or darker? It looks like brighter. So those feathers are pretty bright. Then I want color balance. Maybe a little bit more blue, a little bit less orange. Not that I'm trying to change the local color of the chicken, but I'm trying to make it match the uh, lighting condition of the feathers underneath. <laughs> And since those feathers aren't yellow or blue or green, it means the white balance is pretty clean. So I want, I want it to be the same for my chicken. That at means adding more blues into the shadows. Okay, now hue saturation. So once you get used to playing with these image adjustments, we did them a lot in the last assignment, I'm just going to take the saturation down a little bit, the intensity down a little bit. So now that makes a big difference from there to a chicken wing that's going to match better. And then at 100% opacity with my eraser, I obliterate the overlapping hard edges. like so. I'm not going to worry about these outside edges yet. Maybe it will look something like that. Right now, I've done that chicken wing. Let's do the next. <laughs> 